All right, so what are the top level weight loss camps in the United States teach about fat loss, okay? Amazing, uh, amazing guy I met. Uh, shout out to this you know, fine gentleman, Jim, that I met the other uh, yesterday and had a long conversation with him. He had an amazing story, how a success story about how he'd, he was 335 pounds. The guy got really, really huge and he was miserable and unhappy and depressed. He was eating takeout food every day and just garbage, uh, ordering Chinese food and sitting on the couch on the weekends and watching Law and & Order reruns. And he finally made a decision and he decided that he was gonna, he was gonna lose this, uh, he finally made a decision, he decided he was gonna lose this XX fat and he was gonna change his life and so he, Enrolled in this fitness uh, fat camp called Premier Fitness Camp. It's a fat camp, and I believe it's in Southern California, for people who are very serious about uh, losing weight. And he told me the story about about what they taught him, and I and this is a very very you know powerful video because because this is going to be an inside look. This is a really wealthy guy, rich guy, and you know I asked him. I said, "Is it a good place to go? Would you highly recommend going to this place if somebody was serious?" And he's like, "Absolutely. Just be ready to spend minimum ten grand. I think that's for like one week, maybe two weeks or something." He's like, "But you really should commit to like six months." if they're a really obese person. So he said, wow, this is like, he said, this is the premier place to go for wealthy people to go and lose weight. I said, wow, that's amazing, man, it's incredible. Well, good for you, congratulations. And he, he had a, like another, I don't know, 50 or, or 75 pounds to go, or maybe, maybe, you know, right around that. And so, but he had some great success. He told me about the strategy that they were using. And the strategy was this. I said, ask him, I said, I said, Jim, are you counting, counting calories and macros? He says, no, I'm not counting calories. I said, oh, okay, what are you doing? He says, I'm, I'm counting carbs. I'm going on a low carb type of diet. I said, oh, okay, cool. And clearly it, it worked for him. He started in November and it looks like he dropped like 100 pounds, okay, which is great and I think that's amazing. And it taught him a lot of new eating habits about how to eat, about how to have a, a better relationship with food. But. I want to just drive this point home. This place is charging five to ten thousand dollars, and I'm gonna be straight up blunt. They are wrong. They're freaking wrong, and it's and it's not fair to these people to be taught this information that they, sh they that carbs are bad because the body needs freaking carbs. Okay, the body must have carbs. Mr. Atkins died. He died. He freaking died because he didn't have carbs, okay? You know, it's it's a death sentence. No carbs is, a, is the ketogenic diet is a great way to lose a little fat, like maybe for this gentleman, Jim, maybe it's a great way to go off and, and, and kind of take an aggressive approach and lose some fat, but it's it can't last for long. I mean, it's something that's not sustainable. You can't do it. Your body needs carbs, okay, period. It's very bad for the, for the body to do that in the long term. Clearly, Atkins didn't make it. So, Let's, uh, let's just talk about this a little bit because it's, it's so profound. If people are doing the low carb diet on a weekend or something, fine, it's okay. I mean, I've done it before, you can you do, eliminate carbs and it's very, you get tired, it's, but it, you, you can do it over a weekend and, and shred up. But that's not what I'm about. I'm about long term sustainable fat loss being shredded for long term. And a guy like this, this Jim, if he ever sees my video, you know, Jim, you know, people who are in this position, you gotta take this as a gradual approach, you know, it's, it's, it's like the tortoise and the hare, you know, be the tortoise and get there and live a happy life long term. The hare is going to tire out, not going to make it. Okay. So with fat loss, it's the same way. We have to identify that it's all about the calories. It's all about the calorie deficit. Okay. It really is. And it's the rest of it comes down to strategy. And I want to give you this information because I'm not charging for it. Okay. But this is the real truth. These people are educating these people, charging five and ten thousand dollars for a week to go there and get the wrong information. It's really unfair. You know, I really I'm passionate about this because it's just like I care about these people and you know, I care about this guy, this guy Jim, and he's you know, he's done well, so I was happy I was celebrating for him, but now it's time he realizes the truth about fat loss and, and realizes that he's gotta be on a structure that's going to get him to a calorie deficit. He's not on a calorie deficit. And he's and you know he's basically plateauing in his fat loss, okay? I could tell. So, but but he's gotta be on a calorie deficit. That's really the essence of what he's gotta do. And, and anyone else who's who's watching this, really that's the key, okay? So so just here in beautiful actually looking over to uh, the beautiful old money store building here in West Sacramento and 
Sacramento's off in the background this way. You can't really see it. Sunset here, Friday night. And just want to put out this video because I'm really passionate about this. And, you know, you could point fingers at me if I was saying buy this or buy that or do this or do that. But I'm just telling you the truth. I'm just telling you like it is. I'm telling you what's worked for me. If you look at the, the vlog I just put up yesterday, you kind of see the results that I've had and that I maintain every day. You know, I mean, I, I stay rather lean. Um, you know, on a daily basis, right? So it's like, I don't really try, I mean, try, it's just, I, it's all about strategy. And I care about people and I want them to be able to live a healthy life without inflammation and without all that excess fat. Because I know, I saw the joy on this guy Jim's face for after losing 100 pounds. And granted, he wasn't slim, okay, he wasn't slim. But he was 100 pounds lighter and he was happy, he was positive, he was, he was feeling great. And I just know the joy of, of when you actually get to the point of being lean and being aesthetic and being fit and not having the inflammation anymore. The joy of, of freedom, a free life, an amazing, happy life is so incredible. And the health benefits are just so, the life changing. So hope this video helped you. I wanted to get it out there. Watch the vlog I put up yesterday. It has a full 30 minute vlog. Man, it's just high paced. I watched this vlog myself like three, four times, five times. It was so exciting. I can't believe how on point I was. I mean, I'm to my own horn here, but I was just, I was flying, I was on point. I was just going, going, going for 30 minutes straight. It was kind of broken up and it was exciting. Kept my attention and I have a short attention span with serious ADD. So, kept my attention. Hopefully it did for you as well. It was the, the vlog I shot yesterday. Um, and uh, you know, my, my face on it. I don't know, you'll find it. It was yesterday's video. So hopefully this helped you. If you did hit the like button, thank you for subscribing. I'll get this out there to you. And I just wanted to put it out there regarding Premier Fitness Camp. One of the most premier top fat loss camps for fat people in the United States is putting out the wrong information. Okay, Premier Fitness Camp. Do not go there. <laughs> Do not go there. Spend the money and get wrong information. Okay, unless you want to end up like Mr. Atkins. Gather mail. Done. One more thing. Check out this, uh, this building here. It's pretty amazing, right? It's the old money store building. And I wanted to add one more thing. Something that's pretty motivating. Um, when you get really lean and shredded. I get down, so it was, uh, I, you know, I'm, I've been traveling, I travel a lot. I, I mean, I'm home when, I'm, when I am, I'm, I'm, sometimes I'm not home. And so I don't, when I'm home, it's rare that anyone knocks on my door. I live in a gated community and it's kind of rare that anyone knocks on the door. So I, I was, I think it was a couple, a couple of days ago, it was on Monday, it was a holiday, that's right, Memorial Day. So. I hear this knock at the door, and I actually slept in that day. I was up late, and I was like, I slept in. I'm like, what the heck? Who's that? Somebody's at my door? I'm like, this is kind of exciting. So I, I get up, and I'm like, almost like, not speedo, but like swim, you know, short level, almost swim trunks on, like skin tight trunks, right? Super just morning, just ripped. In the morning, for whatever reason, when I wake up, I got veins in my stomach. I'm shredded in the morning, the most shredded. I don't know why. Veins are like popping out all over my stomach and my abs. So I wake up I'm like, who's at my door? I'm like, well, whoever it is, I'm gonna just freaking just wear what I'm wearing right now. And I have these low cut, like, not boxers, but like, they're like swim trunk sweetos, but they're speedo type, but they're a little long, half, halfway down the leg. So I get, I answer the door and some neighbors like, oh, I'm new in the neighborhood. It's a woman and it's a woman there. And she's new in the neighborhood and it's her and her dog and her baby. And they want to introduce themselves and have a couple questions. I'm like, walk out close the door behind me and I'm just standing there in my like, you know, swim chunk shirt off, just shredded to the bone. And this lady is just, just like uh, having, and she was trying to, I don't know if it was, uh, it was Girl Scout cookies or something she was uh, trying to promote, but it was cool. It was nice to meet her, but I went out there and talked to her. It was just like having the confidence to be able to go do that, you know, it's just, is incredible. You know, the confidence to be able to go do that. I laugh about it now because I walked out there. I never would have done that if I wasn't just shredded and ripped, you know? And so it's like, when I go out there, it's like, man, I feel freaking amazing, you know? And, and she didn't complain. We, she sat there and talked to me for 10 minutes. So something motivating, hopefully, for you. Massive confidence. All right, done. In the Bay Area. And let's talk about how, how we'd actually get to 100 grand. You figure that's two.